Hey guys, so just a short video today, but there's two pieces of MMO news that I want to cover that I think some of you might be interested in. Some of you might remember that last year we had an announcement that Athlon Games, a video games publisher, purchased the rights to make a free-to-play Lord of the Rings MMO set before the events of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. At the time, we didn't know who was going to develop this game, but it's recently been announced that Amazon Game Studios will be developing the game for both PC and console. Honestly, I'm quite excited that Amazon Game Studio will be making this game because after flying out a few times to meet the developers and to test New World, I've seen how open they are to player feedback and getting people in early to test and make fundamental changes during development. In addition to this, I feel that despite the game being free to play, I doubt it will be overly paid to win because it's in Amazon's best interests for their games to have some kind of integration into their other services such as Twitch, so they're going to want the game to be as popular as possible. We still don't know much about the actual game other than what was announced 10 months ago, but overall I think this is some promising news. In other news, we've recently had a new MMORPG announced called Seconds from Silence. This game is being made in Unreal Engine 4 and it describes itself as an MMO RTS MMORPG. And as you can see from the trailer, it looks very early in development. This game's being made by a new studio called Abstract Error Entertainment, who have been working on the game for one year now and currently have a staff of 30 developers and seem to be trying to recruit more based on what they've said in a recent interview. To give a a quick TLDR, the game is a sandbox MMO with RTS elements that will most likely have to do with the ruling and building side of things. The game will be moddable and they recently did a fairly lengthy interview with the website Nexus Mods. The game will have 8 races, humans, orcs, demons, elves, angels, dwarfs, goblins and skinwalkers, and it will also have an in-depth character customization suite. When it comes to environments, they want continents, islands, oceans, mountains, forests, valleys, canyons and deserts. The combat system will be something inspired by a combination of The Elder Scrolls and The Witcher 3. Building plays a big role and you can expect to build cabins, kingdoms, forts, cities, villages, castles, ships and hideouts. The game will have some kind of social status system with nobles, kings, dukes, queens, guildmasters, emperors and pirate captains. The game's being developed for both PC and consoles. The game will have a bounty and lore system. I can't find any info about how the game is being funded or has been funded for the past year or Although players can donate to get guaranteed access to testing and signups for alpha testing starts now on their website. To give a little bit more information, the game's website reads, journey through undiscovered lands and live the life you've always dreamed of, living in this open world moddable MMO RTS MMORPG. Will you embrace exploration for the purpose of finding long lost treasures, extinguishing demons of old and dark caverns and abandoned dungeons, or perhaps you have a mind for leadership to establish a kingdom and conquer your enemies. Regardless of where your journey takes you, everyone's appearance is unique. Seconds from Silence utilizes the advanced character rendering techniques provided by Epic Games in combination with our highly experienced team of artists to bring you many options for customizing your character's appearance. Already over a year in development, the options range from selecting hairstyle and color to deciding how big or small your nose is to if you have thick or thin thighs. Whether you're a fearful orc or an elegant queen, the choice is yours to make. Inspired by the Elder Scrolls and Witcher game series, combat in Seconds from Silence puts you right in the thick of action. Master any number of different weapons, from a simple iron dagger to a legendary sword. Perhaps you prefer the safety of distance provided by a hunter's bow, or the flicker of magic spells to vanquish your enemies from afar. An adventurer must be prepared for whatever lies ahead upon the open road, be you a king or a notorious bandit. Encounter pre-built and player-built camps, cabins, towns, cities, castles, forts, caverns and dungeons as you traverse the unknown. The world is large and full of wonders, yet without a place to rest for your adventurers, you'd get quite exhausted. Kings need castles, commoners need homes, bandits need hideouts, and adventurers need a place to stash their loot. Will you build a castle to rule from and a city for your subjects to live in, or a simple camp as you hunt in the wild? Unleash your creativity and populate the world with your own architectural designs. Take rule over kingdoms, cities, and small towns that you and your subjects build from the ground up. Defend your lands against enemies, both foreign and domestic. If you have a mind for more nefarious deeds, then instead take leadership of bandit groups, pirates and thieves guild. Build hideouts, dens or set to the high seas in a galley of your own. Well, if you're more neutral minded, you may even prefer to travel alone or with a small group of adventurers. Now, obviously it goes without saying this game's pretty damn ambitious and I wouldn't be surprised if it's another four to five years away from a full release if it manages to get that far. But I think it's important that we as a community are supportive of any development 
developer that has the balls to attempt to make a new MMORPG, especially considering the current state of the genre. I've seen quite a few comments from people that are just negative by default towards this announcement. Yes, the game is raw as fuck. It's raw. It's almost like you've got a sticky knife in it to... Kill it. I mean, the thing's still fucking moving. But I think with the lack of MMOs coming out, we shouldn't discourage game devs for at least giving it a try, hence why I like to give these new MMOs some free exposure. But that's it for this video, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the announcement of Amazon Game Studios developing the new Lord of the Rings MMO, as well as the newly announced MMO Seconds from Silence. Kind of sounds like a band name, doesn't it? Thanks for watching. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you again really soon.